Hey boys, we got Jimmy here for you, just like you asked. Send him in. So Jimmy, I thought we had an agreement. Every week you give me two bags of goldfish and I keep your mom from knowing about your spelling test grades. We do have an agreement. Well then Jimmy, why haven't you kept up your side of the bargain, huh? I know it's I know it's a little late, but I have your payment right here. That's only one bag of goldfish, Jimmy. Where's the other bag? Lunch money's just been a little tight this last week, so, so I'll double the payment next week, I promise. You know what, Jimmy? I'm in a good mood today. So you're gonna forgive me and let me off with a warning? No. We have a spelling test today, right? Well, I don't think you know too much about the, the word agreement, so I'm gonna have my associate, Corey, teach you just how I spell it. Corey? Right, boys. Um, but how do you spell agreement? Because I don't even know how the teacher spells agreement, so... Hit him with the fucking pickaxe! Okay, boss, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, boss, I got Ty and Jake here, just like he asked. Send them in. Jake, Ty, I see you guys as my best dealers on that playground. So I just need to ask you guys one quick question. What is this? I, I don't know, beats me. Don't know what it is, huh? Well, why is this bag filled with those? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, th it wasn't us. It wasn't us. Okay, Ty. You just don't want to talk. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just get what we need from Jake, with a little help from our truth serum. Corey? Okay, boss. One truth serum coming up. No. No, please. No. No. Uh oh, no. All right, Jake. Have you guys been messing with my products? Ty's been cutting all the product with all the bad stuff and selling it to the leader of Mrs. King's class. Dude! He also said you'd be too stupid to notice. Dude, stop! Stupid, huh? Corey, how about you show him how stupid I really am? Okay, boys. Uh, but how do you want me to show him how stupid you are? You want me to show him, like, one of your math tests or something? Corey, with the fucking you... sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, boss, it looks like that kid from Miss King's class is waking up. Where, where am I? What, what happened? Up, 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 up. I'm the one asking the questions here. And I'm only going to ask you this one time. Where's your boss hiding? I don't, I don't know. He always keeps his location a secret, I promise. So that's how you want to play it, huh? Aren't you the kid with a peanut allergy? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling the truth, I promise. Please, no! I promise I don't know where he is. Just don't give me any more, please. Damn, he really doesn't know anything. That's your shame. Corey, can Corey, by chance, do you have a peanut allergy? No, I have peanut butter every morning before school. Oh, okay, well, well, go ahead and take him to the nurse, and then ask the nurse if you can have some of that medicine, too. Okay, but why do I need some? No reason. I, mean, yeah, I just think you'll need it. Hey, Mr. Frankel. Hang on just a second, Corey. I need to finish grading this test. Oh, fuck you! Mm. Nice work, Corey. Looks like we got everything we needed. Wait, what's going on here? And why do you have a phone at your age? Well, it's a hand-me-down that only lets me call 911, my mom, and my dad, but that's not the point. The point is that you now work for me. I work for you now? What What do you mean? Well, here in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be moving a lot of product on that playground, and I need a little extra help. You want me to deal your product on the playground? No, 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 I don't want you to deal my product on the playground. I just want you to look the other way when we deal the product on the playground. And I also need you to get the other teachers off my back because they're starting to notice. No, I'm not gonna do that. Well, if you don't, I think the principal would just get this video of you cussing at a student. You piece of shit. That's Mr. Piece of Shit to you. Come on, Corey. Wait, you're going by Mr. Piece of Shit now? Shut up, Corey! Sorry, boy, sorry. Corey said you asked to see me, but I thought you were too busy today. Well, I am pretty busy, but it is Valentine's Day, so I got you a little something. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I feel so bad because I didn't get you anything. Oh, don't worry about it. I just wish I wasn't so busy trying to figure out who the leader of Miss King's class was. Unless you know who he is. I don't, but I wish I did. I really want to. I'm busy. To... Please leave. Okay, I guess I'll. I guess I'll go now. All I right, love, love you. you. Bye. Corey, what's the point in having so many girlfriends if none of them know where my enemies are? I'm not sure, boss, but it looks like you still got nine girlfriends left. All right, just draw the next one. We'll see who's up next. Strawberry. All right, strawberry is Derek. Did you put this on here? No, of course not, but you already bought it for him, so I'm. I'm just gonna go give it to him so we don't waste. Did you or did you not? Yes, boys. If you ever trick me into buying your boyfriend another gift, I'm gonna break both your knees so only one of you can get on your knees in that relationship. Sorry, boy, sorry, boy. And finally, for lunch today, we'll be having Bosco sticks and chalky milk. Also, also, uh, 
the bo the boss is currently trying to find the leader of Miss King's class. If you have any leads, please tell Quarry or Mr. Frankel, who now works for the boss, or else bad things are going to happen. Wow, guys, that boss sounds pretty scary. If I knew anything about the leader of Miss King's class, I'd stand up and say it right now. A anyone? No? Damn, didn't work again. Hey, boss, did anybody say anything? Corey, it's a speaker. You wouldn't be able to hear me even if I said anything. Hey, boss, you say anything? Because I it's can't so hear you. stupid, Corey. Hey, boss, we finally caught that kid that was stealing product. We got him cuffed outside. What do you want us to do with him? Send them in. So is this true that you were trying to steal my product, huh? I'm sorry, but can we take these cuffs off? My fingers really hurt. <sighs> Corey. Right, boss. All right, so all you have to do is put your fingers together like this, like a girl in anime, and then it should just, like, pop right off. Okay, um... It's, it's still not coming off. I don't think you're doing it right, because once you push them together, it should just come off. Corey, just help him. All right, you push your fingers together, and I'll try to take it off, okay? Okay. Ready? Go. It's still not coming off. Are you sure you're pushing your fingers together? Corey, for the love of God, just show him how to do it. Just think it, boss. All right, so you push them together like this, and... Uh-oh. Uh Corey, I don't have all day. Let's go. Uh, boss, don't be mad, but... Um... Corey, I'm gonna kill you. Sorry, boy, sorry, boys. Hey, boss, I think you got a package from the leader of Miss King's class. He sent me a gift? Yeah, and it came with a note, too. Well, what did the letter say? It says, I heard you were looking for me. I put a hint on who I am inside. Enjoy. He put a hint inside the box? Corey, open it. Death and Kate at the trap. Okay, boss. Boss, I don't... Coconut mold. Damn it, Share Corey, with all your why, why would you go to that? I'm sorry, boys, it is my fault. Vice Principal Adams, I, I, I thought our meeting was with his teacher today. Well, originally, yes, it was supposed to be with Mr. Frankel, but unfortunately, he's out sick today, so I'm here to take his spot. But anyways, let's just get right into the purpose of this meeting. Your son's test scores are the lowest in this class. I mean, he hasn't passed a single test yet, so I think we might have to hold him back. Mom, he's lying. I haven't filled any tests this year. Be quiet. Is there is there anything that we can do to make sure that this doesn't happen? Does he does he have enough time to get his scores up? Well, he still does have time to get his scores up. And what I can do for you right now is I can take you to the guidance center and show you all the different resources we have to help him in the meantime. Okay, yeah, let's go right now. Stay there until we get back. I am so sorry about my son. We had no idea his test scores were that low. If we you may have Mr. Frankel under your belt, but I have the vice principal? If you keep trying to find me, then I'll make sure you're held back and go to summer school? It's up to you. <laughs> you say one more word.